Hello, hi everyone. Today I want to talk about a more advanced scenario um, based on my popular video how to split a master spreadsheet into multiple spreadsheets with VBA with one click. So as a recap of the content we covered in that video, basically um, I shared with you when you have a data set and then let's say you want to split it by department, um, how do you do that with the VBA? And I also share with you the code which I pasted into the description. I also shared with you uh, the file itself which you can download from here. Um, so this is um, quite useful for a lot of people. And then one of you actually asked in the um, comments that, um, and the scenario is quite interesting, and this is why I share this in this video, which is she's asking if I have multiple uh, criteria, which is like, for example, if I wanna uh, first split by department names, and, and then within each department, I want to split by countries. Um, how do I do that? And I think that's a, a really good question. So I'm going to share you with you how I'm doing this uh, in my in this video. Okay, so let's go back to our original uh, spreadsheet, which you can download from uh, the links. Uh, let me show you first like this is the uh, original spreadsheet and basically this is my results that I um, created so with um, my spreadsheets I first like um, the outcome from our codes should be that you first have a tab that's saying like for example only finance people and all the countries and then you have different tabs with um, for example finance for only Canada finance for only US da 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 and then you have that for all your departments which can be a lot of spreadsheets. Uh, uh, um, how do we do that? So let me um, steal the same methods as before. Um, I will share with you the codes. I will explain to you what the code is doing. Um, you don't need to copy it. Um, you, you don't need to write it down. It's all going to be pasted into the description. And once you understand the codes, you can just simply copy and paste from the description and customize for your purpose. Okay, so now let's uh, get started on how we do this. So first, actually, let me delete all my tabs to make sure that um, when we run the code, um, those spreadsheets wouldn't come up. Okay, um, and then let's go back to our original spreadsheet. Um, if any of the steps that I'm describing here um, my lost you. It might be because you didn't, you didn't watch the previous video, so I would recommend you to do that um, because I would I, I might not be able to repeat every single uh, detail of that. Uh, um, but basically, this will be. Let's say this is the original spreadsheet, and then this is going to be my code. So before we jump into the code, let me just describe to you the methodology that I used to. Um, solve this problem. So when we have only in the department, what I did is that I have a list that I named as split code, which is all my departments, and I use that to split. So now I have two criteria. Um, so I basically created another split code, which now I named as country. And I'm going to have a double loop a VBA code for it. So the way that I'm tackling it, this is that I will still split first by departments. For example, let's say if I want to split finance. So I will still create this tab. Um, and then within this tab, which I treat as a new master spreadsheet, um, and then I, um, the master uh, set is still this set. And then within this one, I do another split uh, by the country. And then that gets me. And then in those new ones, I make sure I have the uh, department name and country name concatenated. So I know which tab is for what section specifically. So this is how um, I'm tackling it from a master uh, way. It's not the only way to tackle it, but I found it to be the most effective way for myself. Um, and also, as you see, this is our original um, code for only one criteria, and this is my uh, code, updated code for double criteria. So basically, the step that I added in here is that um, this is the same. You still filter by department, 
And then in the active sheet, you filter by country and then split and then save as a new sheet. Da, 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 da. So uh, the change that I made here with double criteria is that um, I need to name it. I need to name my second criteria as country. Um, I also set make sure that in the code it's named as this range. And then if you look at my code, actually this part uh, is exactly the same as previously, which means that I will still for example, create a spreadsheet, um, a sheet named, say, finance. And then after that, this is my new set of code. And then make sure like you actually insert this new set of code before the next cell, because the cell is actually referring to the department. It's not referring to anything else that you want to refer to in the set of code. Um, so then this is my comment, which reminds you that, okay, the set of code is just to filter by country and then split it. So basically what I'm doing here is that I'm saying that for each cell in country, in this range country, um, which is actually here. So it's gonna like when it splits, when the macro one runs, it's gonna go by country, Canada first, US second, Germany third, da, da, da. and then um, I have to name it cell two because I, I need to differentiate this cell to um, the cell, original cell in the department. So I, that's why I named it cell two. It can name it something else as long as you recognize what it is. And I'm saying this is my new loop function. I'm saying that for each of my cells in Canada in the country, I want this sheet, which I originally named as the cell value, which in the first case is finance. I copy it to a new sheet, so which means I create a new sheet, and I'm naming my new sheet as the cell value, which is finance, plus a heaven, like that's my way of distinguishing those two criteria, and then plus the cell two value, which in my case is Canada. Of course, you can name it whichever format that you want. Uh, just one thing to um, remind you for this line of code is that there is a limit for how many um, characters that you can have in a sheet name. So for example, if I'm, I try to name my sheet, I can only go this far. I think it's like 21 characters or what. So if um, the, if the lens, if the characters in both of your um, um, both of your uh, cells exceed twenty one, uh, this line of code would encounter an error, and then you wouldn't be able to run it through. So you, you might need to do some pre check to um, how many letters or characters you have for your active sheet name to make sure that it is runnable, it is functional. Okay, and then after I name that sheet, I do similar kind of filter and delete. So I, for this uh, new sheet, I'm filtering by the field nine. And if you look at my master file, my filter nine is country. My um, column line is country. And then I say, okay, for all the rows that um, does, whose value does not equal to my cell to value, which in my case is Canada, um, you filter them out, you delete them, delete all the visible codes, and then you outer fill, like you um, release it so that it saves. And then after you do that, you move to the next cell, uh, which in my case is US, and then you do the same thing and then you run it. And then after you finish those four countries, you move to the next cell, which for example, in our case is HR. And then the loop runs all, all over again until it goes into the service cells and then it goes into the last country, which is UK, and then it finishes. So this is how this line of code, uh, this set of code is working. So now let me show you, um, I will run it so that you can see how uh, it works. Okay, let me go back to my original sheets. And then this is my code. So if I see everything's ready, I run it. You see, this is so comforting <laughs> to say Excel doing the things that you don't have to do. So yeah, so basically, as you see for um, my um, spreadsheet, I basically have one like master spreadsheet by function and I have it uh, by department and I have it by each of the countries.
and then it gives you everything that you need for as many um, character, uh, categories as you want. Um, of course, I think some of you might ask, okay, what if I only want, like for example, marketing and by country, I don't want a marketing one. In that case, you can create another loop uh, to basically delete all the sheets that that's only uh, that's like the only departments um, and does not distinguish uh, countries. Um, I'm not going to talk about it here. It's not the focus for this video. But if some of you might find it helpful, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to um, uh, to share another video of how to create that loop to delete all those uh, tabs, so you don't have to do it yourself manually. Um, okay, cool. So I think that's everything I want to share with you today. I will paste the codes into uh, the description. And uh, that's it. I hope that you find this video helpful. Okay, so if you find my YouTube video on how to split a master's spreadsheet into multiple spreadsheets helpful and you would like to learn more or you have some questions that you uh, encounter some errors and you want to fix but don't know how, um, you can actually enroll in a course that I provide which is called Outbit End-to-End Course about splitting a master data file into multiple spreadsheets with Excel VBA. So um, this course actually gives you a lot of details of how to, uh, from cleaning your data, splitting it, save it as Excel, save it as PDF, and even send it as an attachment in Outlook. We can also streamline that and batch the process so that it can all be like just one click away for you instead of like doing everything manually for hours and hours. Um, what's also provided here are the errors. So those are the errors that a lot of you asked about and some of the errors that I encounter myself uh, in my experience with VBA and specifically tackling uh, these issues. And I'm providing you um, the workarounds, the solutions, and the answers to how you can uh, fix those errors when this comes. So I think those will be also help, very helpful for you to, um, to uh, for you to solve your specific problem with your data sets. And what's more, I've also added a section of the most common uh, additional requirements to this end-to-end -end, uh, process. So it can be like with multiple criteria, it can be with um, updating master uh, file and all the subfiles, protecting your Excel data so no one else can change it and some additional resources. And lastly, I know that for some of you, you just have, like you just want one set of VBA code that does all the work. Like you don't want it to be like breaking out into like step one, two, three, four, and that's totally fine. I have this ready for you as well. So in this video, I also list with you um, all the, like a one set of code that does everything that we mentioned above. Um, and I also have the file, the Excel version file for you in the course. So you can just download it and customize it uh, for your own purpose. So for everything included here, which is um, about an hour and a half course, um, if you ask myself for uh, my consulting, my fee is like 200 US dollars per hour, which I think it, not everyone will adopt that, but you can enroll in this one course for just $29 and you can have lifetime access to it. And what's even better is that when you have um, questions, when you enroll in this course and you have your specific question, you can reach out to me and I will spend my time to actually help you to answer your customized questions. So I think that would be a huge saving from your side rather than just using me for like a much higher hourly rate. Okay, so that is the course. I will have the link, uh, course link also pasted in the description. If you have uh, interest, check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach me um, at my email listed in the description below, and I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment, and I will talk to you very soon.